Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this uh, webcast. And uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is uh, Chase Xu. I am uh, Alliance Manager at Aero Global Services, and I'm taking care of um, uh, Microsoft within Global Services. And today we also have Matt Green uh, on the line, who is the Solution Specialist uh, for Microsoft Azure. And um, let me first start also talk about uh, what kind of uh, customers and partners Aero Global Services have, uh, have in our portfolio. So traditionally we work with uh, partners that are active in the embedded space. And often these are uh, what we call OT partners uh, that are active on operational technology. These can be OEMs um, creating uh, their industrial gateway, for example, could be system integrators, can also be uh, ISVs. And what we see with IT is that it's bridging uh, IT with OT. And what we often see is that when we talk with OT partners, there's uh, often a, a knowledge gap where, with IT and also the other way around. Uh, so today we would like to uh, cover the topic Azure IT Central because Azure IT Central is an easy, ready to use tool uh, to complete uh, the OT offering and also to, to close the knowledge gap. So Matt, I leave uh, the, the floor to you. Thank you very much. So yes, um, as highlighted, I'm a solution specialist working for Arrow Global Services. Um, one of my primary focuses is Microsoft Azure and how it can be used as part of our digital transformation story. And when we talk about digital transformation, we're often talking about data and how data is used within our organizations. Um, and really, we've seen a, a change in innovations over the last few years that have meant that we can make the most of that. So that kind of started with the cloud, um, having compute resources available um, all the time, unlimited resources um, globally. And that expanded to starting to harness data that was coming from sensors around the world that could be then used by the cloud and, and managed and monitored. But moving forward, there was an awful lot of data getting generated by these IoT devices. And so we've developed the edge technology that we now see in front of us, where we can offload data from the IoT sensors, analyze using compute on the edge. So we're reducing the amount of data that needs to go up to the cloud. This has also been helped by AI, um, the, the intelligent capabilities that can be run both on the cloud, but also on the edge, making sure we can harness the data that's being generated a lot more efficiently. And moving forward into where we're reaching now is where we create a digital twin of the physical space um, in the virtual world. So using the IoT data, that infrastructure of edge and cloud compute to create that digital twin of what's going on in our real lives. When we talk about IoT projects, Microsoft have identified eight properties of a successful IoT system. And these things are the things that you need to think about when designing an IoT solution. So these primarily include scalability, making sure that as you introduce more and more devices and more sensors to a network, that you can scale up the architecture that you've put in place. Device manageability, the ability to manage these devices that potentially are being deployed into a location that can't be easily reached by an engineer or by a member of the public. Big data management. So that's the management of all this data that is flowing in from the edge devices up into the cloud. A lot of it needs to be stored for potentially long periods of time for future analysis. So managing that data is really important. And actually using that data um, requires a huge amount of analytics and insights to be run on it as well. And that's an important aspect to be considered during the project phase. Some IoT projects um, actually require some quite high levels of, avail of availability. If you've got a connected device that is heavily relied on, making sure that there's a way to ensure it's always up um, and available to be recovered if there's a disaster is a key element. Something that everybody always talks about in IoT is obviously security and compliance. Some of the data that's collected by these devices is 
potentially very sensitive data and making sure that it's secure from the edge all the way up to the cloud is vital. Also in the ever-changing world of IoT, DevOps is something important to consider. The ability to continually develop your solution and to deploy those updates to the devices um, in a tested and well-managed way is very important. And lastly, it's the total cost of ownership. So understanding how much the solution you're putting together is going to cost you over the lifetime of the project. When we deploy devices for IoT, we have to think about how long they could potentially be out in the field and whether those are sustainable for that period of time. There's actually a white paper that Microsoft have produced that goes into detail about all these elements. And it's available um, to you now at the link on the screen, um, but also um, as part of this online exhibition, you'll be able to get access to that information. The main thing I want to present to you now is IoT Central. Um, IoT Central is a platform as a service solution from Microsoft that allows you to fully manage a whole IoT solution. So it starts with the ability to connect the devices. So getting your IoT sensors and edge gateways connected to the cloud. It allows you to update and manage these devices and keep them connected to the cloud. And it also then allows you to do something with that data. The data that's coming from those sensors, you can gain some insights and view the data that's being fed up. As a platform, it's designed to be highly secure, um, ready for enterprise use. And importantly, it's predictable in its pricing. So it's done on a per device pricing model rather than the standard compute pricing that would be from a normal cloud solution. And this is really important when you're evaluating the total cost of ownership of an IoT solution. There's a number of solution builders out there that are already using IoT Central. Uh, some of the logos of those are on the screen. And Arrow has worked alongside some additional partners to bring IoT solutions to market using the Azure IoT Central platform. When we talk about getting connected, and getting those IoT sensors online, IoT Central has a few key components as part of that. So one of them is the end-to-end -end security, and that's making sure that the data that is being passed from the edge device up to the cloud is kept secure along the way. And Microsoft has a, a security suite built into IoT Central that helps you control that. The plug and play offering from Microsoft um, is an extension really of um, what you would see as plug and play in the traditional Windows world. So where you could plug a USB device into your computer without having to tell, any, tell it anything about the device, it suddenly detects it and it is able to work with it. The same concept Microsoft have now applied to IoT devices. So you'll be able to take an IoT device out of the box, power it on, and it will connect to the cloud and know exactly how it should perform. Edge support is key. So when we talk about gateways and the ability to run AI engines on the edge, support for this edge deployment is vital. And lastly, and most probably most importantly, is the ability to manage the devices that you've deployed. You can put thousands of devices out into the field and know that you'll be able to remotely update them and make sure they're kept online. And once you've got that data flowing into the cloud, keeping it connected um, and monitoring that data is what you need to do next. So IoT Central is able to ingest the telemetry data and also control the device remotely. It can visualize and give you insights on the data that it receives. And using a rules engine, it's able to react to the data as well and trigger actions both back on the device, but also out to users um, and to additional parts of your IoT solution. IoT Central is very customizable in the fact that it allows you to white label, so put your company's logo um, and look and feel onto the UI. It supports multi-tenancy, which means that you can resell IoT Central's offering once you've customized it and integrated your devices onto your end customers and manage it all centrally, but keeping each of your customers separated from each other. And most importantly, in the transformation stage, is you can actually um, customize it using Microsoft's APIs. That means you can tie into the platform to automate tasks using your existing workflows, 
but also you can use it to extract data from IoT Central and pass it on into potentially your own products um, or additional services you wanted to offer on top of IoT Central. Microsoft have a, a focus on some key verticals when they talk about IoT Central. But as you can see from the list of verticals on the screen, it's quite a wide list of verticals, everything from the smart building space through to agriculture and energy monitoring. Um, there's most, for most verticals, there is a solution offering where Microsoft have produced a template. Um, so a template or an app template, as they call it, is where they've created um, a look and feel within Azure IoT Central um, and a data framework designed specifically for that vertical. And it's a boilerplate that allows you to get started with IoT Central and start getting data into the platform as quickly as possible. And from there, you can customize it to fit your exact needs. So the app templates are the first thing in, as part of that. And also Microsoft offer the ability for you to create custom templates. So if you're a device manufacturer or a gateway manufacturer, um, or somebody with specific vertical focus that was deploying devices, you'd be able to create a template that others could use when buying your devices or your products. They also have the device uh, marketplace, which are pre-certified devices that Microsoft have confirmed are part of the plug and play network in that the devices can be powered up and connected to IoT Central without any further development work. The catalog um, is growing by the day um, there's a number of Arrow's key partners that are already listed in that catalogue, um, and we would be happy to support you in any projects you have where you think some of those IoT devices would be good for you. We can also help you work with Microsoft to get your device certified for IoT plug and play and listed in the device store as well. So if that's something of interest, please do reach out to us. Lastly, you have the ability to customise the user interface. Um, and connect your devices. And the various different ways that you can get your devices connected um, through secure keys um, and zero touch deployment offerings. Um, there's a huge range and the Microsoft documentation is really good at talking you through what's available, but also at Arrow Global Services, we are able to provide you with some help in that aspect as well. So if you're looking to integrate your devices, my recommendation is you head over to the IoT Central website sign up and start to give it a play. Try one of the industry templates, um, see if you can customize it, get your device connected. And then if you have any further information about how you turn the initial investigation you've done into a full, fully full project that you can deploy, then please get in contact and we'd be happy to support you through that next phase. IoT Central is something Microsoft are continually developing. So moving forward through 2020, there's a few things that Microsoft are introducing into the IoT Central offering that's going to be really vital to some of our customers and hopefully you as well. Um, some of those are the ability to do indoor mapping. So IoT Central currently supports outdoor mapping and you can use it to um, pinpoint anywhere on the globe within the UI. But moving forwards, there's going to be indoor map um, maps available, which will allow for some more detailed smart buildings solutions. Another key aspect is the auditing aspect. So actually being able to understand the operators of the UI and the customers that are using it, understand what they did, how they did it as they move forward is really important, especially when they have the ability to control devices. Um, additional cold storage. Um, so currently IoT Central supports storing data for 30 days. Um, but they've just recently added the ability to export that data out to cold storage for a much longer period. This could be quite vital if you're doing a sort of pre predictive maintenance sort of environment where you needed to look at data for a much longer period of time. There's also various other things such as a new tiered pricing model. Um, and the pricing model, as I mentioned early on, is quite simple. It's done on a per device basis. And you can see on the screen um, for the standard tier one, um, that's 40 cents per device, which limits you up to 5,000 messages um, of the, from those devices. You actually get two free 
device deployments per application. So if you were to set up and deploy an IoT central application now, you could connect two devices and run it forever for free, up to 10,000 messages um, without it costing you anything. Microsoft Charge, if you go over the base messages, um, and as you can see, it's not an expensive cost um, per message, um, but it's um, key to look at these two tiers and understand how you would use the IoT central application to understand what tier is best for you. So if you're using um, lots of devices that are sending uh, occasional messages, then the tier one may be interesting. Um, but if you've got some very message heavy devices, then you might potentially look at this, the second tier, which is slightly more costly, but includes a lot more um, messages as part of the allocation. To give you an example um, of uh, an IoT central solution, um, the Intel Connected Logistics platform, which is available through Arrow, is used to monitor, monitor temperature, humidity, vibration, shock, um, light of parcels and packages as they move through a distribution network. As a set of tags um, that go on the individual boxes and a gateway that wirelessly connects to IoT Central and collates all that information. That information is ingested into IoT Central, um, where it's, as you can see on the screen, there's two different dashboards um, that outline that data and show you on a map where the parcels are going, um, shows you all the different sensor data in an easy to view panel. And also this customer um, has built a companion app using IoT Central that hooks in to their existing platform and collects all that data. So the Azure IoT Central platform is used to securely connect the connected logistics platform devices. It's used to collate the data and it's used to do transformation on that data. The data is also all stored in IoT Central. But also the customer uses webhooks straight out through the existing um, Azure infrastructure through Azure Functions into their application. So notifications and updates can be sent directly out of IoT Central, directly into the customer's existing application infrastructure. So that was a really quick overview of IoT Central to give you an idea of the platform available from Microsoft. The key thing about Microsoft um, Azure IoT Central is that it's an easy way to get on board with IoT using the Microsoft platform. And it allows you to accelerate the time to market. You can connect devices in a secure manner. You can manage those devices, deploy updates. You can do some transformation on the data, some basic analytics. It has a rules engine for reacting to the data that is sent through. It has an alert capability, which can be used to alert third-party applications, users, um, or to feed back to the devices that are on the edge themselves. There's two key things that we'd ask you to do at the end of this. The first one is to head over to the um, azureiotcentral.com website. And there you can sign up without credit card or anything like that to IoT Central and deploy yourself a device template. that gets you started. If you've got a device that you think you could connect, then you can proceed to connect that device directly into IoT Central. Also, it will give you access to the marketplace that I mentioned for the plug and play sensors. So you can have a look through and see which devices potentially may fit your needs. And if you find a device that you would like to purchase, then most of the devices listed in the catalog are available right now. And a lot of them are Arrow partners. So please reach out to us in Global Services, and we'd be happy to have a conversation with how we can support you in procuring those sensors, but also helping you bring together a solution. We'd also ask that you head over to the arrow.com forward slash MS embedded website. And that's full of resources about the Microsoft embedded portfolio. So not only is that the Microsoft Azure suite in terms of IoT Central that we've just spoken about, IoT Hub, and the other IoT elements that Microsoft have within Azure, but also um, Microsoft Windows, um, specifically Windows 10 IoT, B, 
being the most popular at the moment. And this is for your secure edge devices. We have um, lots of resources on how Microsoft and the Windows platform can help you get your devices connected. Lastly, I'd ask if you have any further questions, would like to know a bit more, or would like to have a demonstration on IoT Central, then please reach out to me. My email address is on the screen, and I'd be more than happy to talk a bit more about Azure IoT Central and the Microsoft Azure IoT portfolio. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.